Well, congratulations, gentlemen, on the film. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I, uh, I want to ask you, Victor, where in the how did this idea come from? I was riveted last night, but as I was watching it, I thought, how does your brain work? I mean, there were so many different <laughs> elements to it. It was incredible. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think. Thank you. <laughs> no, in a good way. Um, yeah. Um, the idea, it came from like uh, Sweden is, is a small country. We haven't been in war, in war for several hundred of years. Uh, we have just up in recently been saved from terrorist attacks and uh, big nature disasters. And we wanted to, to, make, to, to make the audience ask themselves, what if something like this, a disaster of this magnitude um, hit uh, Sweden? Um, and what would I do? And what would I do if the air raid alarm went off in the morning? And um, who would I call? Who would I think of? Uh, wanted to put the audience in the shoes uh, of the people uh, who's um, going through this disaster. Yeah. Um, and it, it did make me think as well, even though I don't live in Sweden, I, I live in America, but yeah. it, it did have me thinking what would happen, you know, if, if something like this, you know, occurred and Alvin for you, how was it to produce, uh, you know, because there were so many different elements going on. Yeah, it's a complicated film. We, we, we filmed or uh, like, uh, yeah, 115 days or something like that. So we had a huge uh, amount of shooting and it was um, a lot. We did a lot of practical things uh, during the film. So it's like uh, heavy rain together with like car crashes uh, and stuff like that. So it was um, was kind of a pretty complicated way to, to put together a project like this. Uh, and we are working like, uh, we in Crazy Pictures are working like a film collective so it's me and Victor and three other guys that have crazy pictures together. So we kind of have the, yeah, the, what do you say? Like the, the big roles around, around the film we produce. So we have the cinema ph photographer, we have production design, we have visual effects, we have practic practical effects. So it was mainly a lot of work for our main team. And then we had a pretty small team uh, to help us. Uh, and that's kind of how we, what we put, yeah, how we manage uh, to take this film from a kind of really ambitious idea uh, to to actually finish it in a kind of a low budget style. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that's what makes it so special as when I was researching what the budget was, I mean, it looks like the budget was $25 million. So the fact that you guys pulled it off with, you know, you know, such a smaller amount than that it is pretty much, uh, you know, a testament to how talented you both are. Thank, yeah, you, thank you. Thank you. And it's I wanted, a lot of, lot of work. Yes. <laughs> and Victor, I wanted to ask you, where was the, um, the character Alex born? Because not only is it a movie that is riveting, you know, you're, the whole time you're wondering who's going to survive, how are they going to get out of this and what you would do in that circumstance, but it also deals with trauma because the main character, Alex, you know, comes from an abusive household that he escapes and, and through the war, he is reunited with his father in, in, in a kind of unconventional way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just a fun fact, uh, Christopher Noden wrote who plays Alex. He's also co-wrote uh, the movie um, with us. And Alex is a character, he's like, <laughs> It all comes down to, to the idea to take this unusual spin of the ordinary disaster genre. Uh, we have this uh, Swedish film called uh, Let the Right One In. Uh, it, it's a fabulous film. It takes a spin on this um, vampire genre. And we wanted to do something similar like that to go the, the opposite way and to take time to invest in this p these uh, characters uh, see what they uh, have been living through uh, and uh, when the disaster hits. We wanted the people to uh, hopefully care more about the characters because they have been living through the trauma that they uh, uh, have uh, with them in, in this disaster. Yeah. 
and, yeah. and it's interesting because it, you know even when you're going through something like that this trauma still doesn't go away you know you would think that sometimes when there's a war going on that you kind of just forget about everything that's going on but Alex is still suffering even you know through I'm calling it a war because it felt like yeah. a war um you know with his father and you know and the grief of his mother also abandoning him yeah I think it's the opposite the, the idea was like uh, when if you um if something like this happens to you I think mm -hmm. uh, that uh, these questions who do I care of and uh, who do I love what do I want with my life these kinds of questions is the questions that's um teed. so i think it just froze there one moment there we go you're back now did i this yeah yeah you were just saying that it kind of yeah, raised like now questions. Uh, let me take that um I, I can hear you. Excuse me. One more time. Yeah. So you were just kind of saying when you know when so people go through something like a yeah, war, yeah. it really makes you question life, you know, and, and what's happened to you. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that's more like the way human works. If uh, your life is put. Uh, in, in this direction, I think the, the questions, who do I care of, who do I love, and what do I want with my life, I think that's um, the questions you ask yourself in that situation. Uh, so we wanted them, that, that's why we wanted uh, to invest time in, in Alex and Anna and Bjorn's stories before this disaster hits. Yeah, and yeah. Alvin, for you, it's, and, and that's what makes you so excellent at what you do as a producer, because it's, also a still a love story essentially and it, and it's and that's what makes it so beautiful so how do you combine all those all of those elements you know you've got a thriller going on you have you know a drama going on and but then you also have have a love story as well H how do you combine those three yeah that that was a real challenge with the film because it's kind of yeah, it starts more in, in a drama and then it's going more and more to be a thriller and then some kind of action drama in the end. So that, that was the tricky part, uh, especially when we were ended up in the editing uh, process and we, we actually had the beginning of the film from the beginning was uh, a lot longer. We had, we had more, we had film more to investigate uh, around the characters' backgrounds, but we felt that this is, isn't, it's impossible to, to, to have this long start and then it's going to be like a, a disaster. And I think the movie was like three hours long, first edit, the first edit we had. So that's, uh, I think that was a, a big problem or a big challenge when we did the editing on the film. Uh, but I think we, we really got what we wanted where we have invested time in the characters and we can feel with them and, and also, yeah, getting these this disaster over them and we really wanted it to to kind of um, uh, come slowly to them so it was should like was growing through the film and it's would getting more and more and in the end it's a real disaster yeah it is and uh, i think what's so interesting because as a world even though we have progressed so far we're more divided than we've ever been so it, there was an element of concern after watching it because something like this isn't actually out of the order. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't be a surprise if this happened to, you know, a country like Sweden, you know, given how divided the world has become and, and with all the problems going on. Yeah, and actually when, when we first came up with ID and wrote the film, it was more of a fantasy. <laughs> and then somewhere the, the reality ha in Sweden ha has become more and more close what, what our idea to the film was. So, so when we were shooting the film, it felt more like um, this, is, this is more of closer to, re to the reality and we, we were thinking about in the beginning. Yeah. And just before we go, I want to ask both of you, I'll start with you, Victor. What is it that you want people to get from the film when they watch? Oh, um, I first I want them to um, to be taken on a journey, 
uh, with these characters. I want them to uh, hopefully forget in the first half an hour um, that they are looking at the disaster movie and just uh, invest in these people. And uh, hopefully I, I want them and the audience to ask themselves in the end, as I said in the beginning, in the beginning what, would ha what would I do? Uh, what would uh, I do if something like this happened to us? Uh, I think that's uh, what I want the, 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 the audience to, to ask himself. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting because um, Anna's mum, uh, she kind of goes against, she's a government worker and she, everyone kind of goes in a line and follows orders and she does a bit of a U-turn and, and, and goes in her own direction. And I was thinking, that's what I would do. Yeah. Uh, and Alvin, what, what do you hope that people get from the film before we go? Your mic, Alvin. Uh, to I think it's to um, uh, somewhere to to reflect on your uh, loved ones around you, what they mean and what you do for them, and maybe uh, to get back to them, take better uh, contacts with people that you don't have contact with. Uh, I think that's a, a, a message I, I would like to to people to feel. Yeah, because when, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, what really matters is our family and the ones we love most. So thank you so much. I mean, it went so fast. It was so quick. I was riveted and I was so excited and I am going to watch it again. That's how much I enjoyed it. So thank you so much to both of you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for doing this. Of thank course. you very much. Bye bye. Good luck with the rest of your interviews, but uh, a job well done. I, I, I loved it. So congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.